Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'll be doing my personal tier list of the Dredge's add-ons. I've been asked many times to do one of these, and recently on stream, we finally did one. This tier list is a little bit different than most. Instead of saying something is strictly bad, I've tried to find every good aspect of each add-on regardless of their strength. I hope this tier list will be able to help you all structure your builds with this character. Before we get into the video, I wanted to sincerely thank you all for 6,000 subscribers. I've been making content for about 7 months now. It blows my mind that you all keep coming back for more, and I can't thank you all enough. We've also just hit 3,600 followers over on Twitch, which is where this tier list was created. We're making a serious push towards Twitch Partner. If you'd like to come hang out, I stream 6 days a week over on Twitch. Thank you all so much for checking out the video. I hope you all enjoy. All right, guys, so in this video, you guys are going to get more of an unfiltered gaming athlete. Uh, this is just going to be so that way I can kind of relate to you guys a little bit more and for you guys to kind of understand my points a little bit better. Just before we get into the tier list itself, over here on the left, I have kind of labeled each of the tiers. As a reminder, this is not necessarily a normal tier list, like a, oh, this is good, this is bad kind of thing. The, I'm just simply measuring the advantage and consistency of each of these add-ons. So for example, over here, we have provides an insane advantage. What this means is that any add-on in this tier is going to provide you an outstanding advantage very frequently or all of the time. A tier is a little bit different here. It's going to be add-ons that are very consistent and good, but don't provide constant value or are outshined by those in S tier. B tier will include add-ons that provide advantages that aren't consistent or have some quirks or limitations. C tier is going to include add-ons that provide value, but not necessarily advantages. These add-ons are usable and can provide value in some builds, but aren't going to be relied on 100% of the time. And finally, D tier, this is going to include add-ons that are detrimental. Uh, spoiler alert, there's only one that goes in here, so yeah. So you get this started going from top to bottom. Our first add-on is going to be the boat key. The boat key increases your daytime teleport speed by 25% and has a small effect of breaking every single locked locker on the map once the fifth generator is completed. This add-on gives you some of the best map traversal in the entire game. By default, the dredge's teleport speed is 12 meters a second. That's already really fast, but with this add-on, that will increase to 17 meters a second. That's almost as fast as a xenomorph in their tunnel. With the dredge having the ability to teleport to any locker on the map with this speed, this is seriously some of the best map traversal in the entire game, without a doubt. Without a doubt, this is the dredge's best add-on. There's really not a ton to say. Uh, again, it increases your daytime teleport speed by 25%. It gives you insane mobility. I highly recommend this add-on. Next up, we have an add-on which is really close for the number one slot in my opinion. This is going to be the Automarian Riding. The Automarian Riding decreases your remnant cooldown speed by 4 seconds. This goes from 12 seconds to 8 seconds. This add-on is my personal favorite. Many people believe that the Dredge's main power is his teleport, which is just not true. Your goal as Dredge every map should be to use your remnant and prioritize your remnant as much as you possibly can. The Remnant can seriously turn any god loop into this game into at least a 50-50. It is super dangerous to loop a dredge that knows what he's doing with a Remnant. Having a Remnant available quicker means a massive difference in chase. I highly recommend this add-on if you're having problems with the dredge and just chasing in general. It's going to give you much more second chances. Our third slot is going to be the Hattie's Calendar. This add-on will reduce the time it takes to exit a locked locker by one second. This add-on is amazing in chase builds. By default, it takes the dredge 3 seconds to exit a locked locker. This add-on will reduce that to 2 seconds. That extra second removed from the time it takes to get out makes a massive difference. This add-on will help you get a lot of hits that normally you would not be able to hit. This is one of those add-ons where you really do get value 100% of the time during a match. I highly recommend this add-on. Moving on to the 8 tier, we will be starting off with the Field Recorder. This add-on will start Nightfall at the start of the trial and will also start Nightfall when the 5th generator is completed. This add-on also has a small effect of exhausting a survivor for 15 seconds when they break a remnant, but this is kind of a small detail. I love this add-on. I frequently do win streaks over on my Twitch channel, and this add-on is usually on my build. This add-on really allows you to get early pressure in a match. Whether that's getting four injured states or a quick down into a pain resonance, this add-on is amazing for securing that early game. The dredge already has the potential to be nasty during the early game. That's why I don't recommend people using Corrupt Intervention on this killer. This add-on really amplifies that potential and just makes you uh, just disgusting. This add-on also works amazing in endgame builds. Uh, if you pair this with Noed, that is that it's just absolutely disgusting. Having that near instant teleport speed with exposed status effect, it's it's gross. Next up on our list, we have the Mallthinker Skull. This add-on will increase your nightfall charge rate speed by 66% whenever a survivor is injured. This add-on is amazing. When you pair this with perks that make healing difficult, you're basically just farming nightfall. That 66% is going to make a huge difference for Nightfall's charge speed. Just keep in mind that that add-on does not stack, so that's a flat 66% whenever at least one person is injured. Next we have the Broken Doll. This add-on is super simple, all it does is adds 20 seconds to your Nightfall. 
As simple as this add-on is, it's definitely deserving of being ranked high. That extra 20 seconds of Nightfall is really going to allow you to take more time to get hook stages, kick generators, just patrol, get information. It's a great add-on. There's really not a lot to say about this one. The value you do get from the add-on is pretty much guaranteed and super consistent. Overall, it's pretty good. Moving into the B tier, we are starting with the Worry Stone. This add-on will reveal the aura of a survivor when they lock a locker for 6 seconds. This add-on is super good for passive information. With how many lockers can spawn on some of these maps, you'll be getting near constant aura reading as long as they don't have distortion. This add-on can also help you understand which areas of the map are kind of locked up, but this isn't the most impactful thing to know. But it's a good thing to have in the back of your mind. Next, we have the Lavier Microphone. This add-on will reveal the aura of all survivors for 3 seconds when you use the third teleport token. This add-on will also open and slam every locker door that's within 6 meters of a survivor when you teleport to a locker or enter it manually. So, uh, the aura reading uh, is kind of a hassle. Uh, having to teleport 3 times for just 3 seconds of aura reading is... It's, it's okay. It's not something that I personally focus on when I use this add-on though. To me, it kind of feels like you have to sacrifice a lot of time for just minimal value. However, the second function of this add-on is pretty good. If you're paying attention while you're teleporting, you can see the locker doors open and slam near people as well. Just keep in mind that sometimes lockers can get in the way of that, so just be careful. This add-on can also be paired with Dead Man's Switch. Uh, when people hear a locker door open, they're probably going to get off, so in a way, you're kind of making a homemade Grim Embrace. Next, we have the Follower's Cow. This add-on will give you your Killer Instinct ability from Nightfall when you return to your Remnant during daytime. This add-on's not terrible. Uh, Killer Instinct on Dredge is actually a pretty good way to get information. Very often during Nightfall, if I'm not teleporting, if I'm not chasing somebody, if I'm not doing something, if I'm looking for people, I'll be spamming my Remnant. Uh, it's a pretty good way to find people. Now, having the ability to get Killer Instinct during daytime is great and all, but just keep in mind with this add-on, it only works when you return to your Remnant. You'll have that ability the entire match, but you won't get it when you are inside of a locker during daytime. But overall, it's a pretty good add-on. Killer Instinct's a great way to bypass Distortion Calm Spirit. It's it's really, really fun to use, so it's not bad. Next, we have the Burnt Letters. This add-on will increase the amount of Nightfall charges gained by 25% when you injure a survivor. By default, you get 20 charges when hitting somebody. This add-on will increase that to 25. For those who don't know, it takes 300 charges for Nightfall to trigger. Generally, any add-on that increases the percentage of what you gain is going to be pretty useful. There's not much to say about this add-on. I ranked it in B tier just because there's, you know, you have to actively work to get value from it. It's not bad, but it's, it's not, you have to work for the value that you get from it. Next, we have something very similar. It's going to be the Wooden Plank. This add-on will increase the amount of charges you gain when hooking a survivor by 25%. So again, this add-on is going to increase the charges gained from 20 to 25. However, since this add-on only affects it when you get a hook stage, uh, <laughs> it's not super consistent compared to Burnt Letters. Uh, you can only get 12 hooks per match maximum. Uh, there's going to be matches where you only get 10, 8, sometimes 6 if you know, you're unlucky. So overall, it's not the most consistent option. Again, any add-on that's going to increase your random darkness meter is good, but there's just not a whole lot going on with this one hook stages i mean you're not you're not getting hooks as frequently as you are hitting people so that's why this one's going to be below burnt letters overall though it's still usable if you want to use it go for it that's just where i've put it next we have the destroyed pillow this add-on is going to decrease your remnant cooldown speed by 2.5 seconds during nightfall by default your remnant recharge speed during nightfall is four seconds so every one and a half seconds you can either use your remnant or teleport with this add-on this add-on can be pretty nasty it, one and a half seconds for a remnant feels insane unfortunately this add-on only works during nightfall so you're only going to be able to use it a handful of times during a match overall though excluding the inconsistency around this add-on it's pretty good but there's not much to say Moving to our C tier, we are starting with the Fallen Shingle. This add-on will increase your Nightfall Charge Rate speed by 15% per second while teleporting. We're really starting to get into the niche add-ons here. Uh, if it was more than 15%, I'd probably put it in B tier. But to be honest, this doesn't really provide a ton of value. On paper, this add-on seems really good. But to be honest, I really don't see why you would choose this add-on over any of the other Nightfall Charge Rate speed add-ons. This one just really just falls short. Again, not much going on here. This add-on kind of gives a decent amount of passive nightfall charge increases, but not much more than it would justify using over anything else, to be honest. Next up, we've got the caffeine tablets. Whenever you hold down your remnant or are teleporting as the dredge, all locked lockers are revealed to you in a yellow aura. This add-on is somewhat decent in the fact that you can kind of know beforehand if the locker you're teleporting to is locked or not. But I'll be honest though, I literally cannot think of a single reason to use this over any other add-on. Like, it does provide you with information, but to be fair, without Hatties, it's you're only stuck in a locker for three seconds. Using an add-on slot for this is kind of like using Tylenol for a paper cut. It really doesn't deserve to be used, in my opinion. 
Next is the air freshener. This add-on literally just gives you an extra teleport token. That's literally it. There's not much going on here. Uh, it's, it's cool, I guess, but I'll be honest, this is probably one of the most unnecessary add-ons you could use for this killer. I feel like a lot of newer dredge players might think this is a good idea to use, but I, I just really can't justify using this over literally anything else. My advice for a newer player would always be learn the base version of something first before you start to get into just weird stuff. Um, when you use an add-on like this where it doesn't provide you with anything, you may be giving yourself a disservice. Next, we have the Iridescent uh, Sacrificial Knife. So uh, this add-on, whenever you teleport to a locker during nightfall, every single vault location within 16 meters of you will be blocked for five seconds. This add-on is pretty restrictive, but it can, it, it can give you some hits that normally you, you might not be able to get. This is kind of a better version of Cruel Limits, except you can only get it during nightfall. So I can't really recommend it over pretty much every other add-on that we've talked about so far, but it's, it's okay. Next, we have the Iridescent Wooden Plank. This add-on exposes every single survivor in the match for the last 12 seconds of nightfall. I really don't know why this add-on is so specific. The, the Just the timing and the circumstance for this to work, it, it's just weird. Hitting a survivor, let alone even being in chase during that window of time is, is probably not gonna happen. I, I really can't recommend this one. The, there's just not a lot going on here. It's weird. The last 12 seconds of nightfall, I mean, good luck. Next on our list is the War Helmets. Uh, this one will increase your Nightfall Killer Instincts by 1.5 seconds. This is another one of those add-ons which is just like completely random and really won't benefit you in a meaningful way in a match. There's never been a time in a match where the three seconds of Killer Instinct that I've had during Nightfall hasn't been enough. I feel like the base version does a pretty good job on its own and this is just a waste of a perk or add-on slot. Is this one more goofy than uh, air freshener? Probably not, but I'm gonna put it here regardless. Not to mention it's only during nightfall. So yeah, I, I really can't recommend to use this one. And the last item in C tier is going to be the Tilling Blade. This add-on when injuring a survivor during nightfall from healthy will inflict them with the blindness, hemorrhage, and mangled status effects for 60 seconds. So uh, <laughs> th this is only during nightfall and you get it, okay. You get one really pointless status effect that really won't really affect people. You get a status effect which is only good against people with like 10 hours in the game. And then you get an actually good status effect, but it's only for 60 seconds and it's only during nightfall. I've seen people swear by this add-on in anti-healing builds and to be brutally honest, I don't know why you would ever use this. This add-on sounds good on paper and you might get some value from the mangled status effect, but to be honest, any survivor that's played this game for more than a week is probably not going to be affected by this add-on. If you're going for an anti-healing build with a dredge, I would you'd be better off using Maul Thinker and either an add-on that has to do something with Nightfall or just any Nightfall charge add-on, to be honest. And finally, we have reached the D tier, which is going to be detrimental. Mortar and Pestle obviously is going to be here. <sighs> Before I explain this add-on, when you return to your remnant as the dredge, you will always face the direction that you were facing when you first placed it. That's why in live streams or even my gameplay, you'll often see me flick my mouse when I'm placing a remnant. That's just so that way I'm facing towards where the survivor will be once they get to that remnant. The mortar and pestle completely changes that. When you return to your remnant with this add-on, you will be facing the direction you were looking as you teleported. Do not use this add-on. This add-on is gonna completely destroy your muscle memory with the killer. Uh, which is going to lead to you getting 360'd or just, just missing or just being confused. A lot of new players unfortunately see this and they think it's good to learn with. I promise you this add-on is going to set you back if you use it. So that's going to be the end of this tier list. This is all my personal opinions with having almost 2,000 hours specifically on the character. And again, this, li this list measures the amount of advantage and consistency that you get from each of these add-ons. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you guys have any thoughts or opinions or anything you want to share in the comments, I, I read every single comment. I, I promise you guys I do. I read them all. Thank you all so much for checking out the video. I will see you guys in the next one.